Your body is nothing but a host to a massive collection of parasitic organisms ready to cause infection, ready to cause infection, ready to cause infection. You can feel them living and breeding and dying inside of you. Is it? Yeah. Yeah? Thought spiral? What are you thinking? This water has to be like 50% urine. That's the good half. Sorry. I was thinking it's not fair. Okay, so plenty of people with anxiety disorder have fulfilling romantic relationships. Hi. Hi. You and Davis used to be friends. For one summer at camp. Look at you, you're literally a glow. Even if I was. I can't date anyone, you know that. I don't know that. Why can't you? You're sweating. They probably think you're just a sweaty freak. You can't have a boyfriend, you can't go to college, you can't even control your own brain. People think I'm completely crazy. No, he doesn't. And things aren't exactly in my strong suit. I'm sort of a new thing and you're doing fine with me. I swear to God, he's so smitten. How do you know? Because I have eyes. How come it's so easy for me to talk to you? Maybe because our hearts are broken in the same places. Being intimate is intimidating for everyone. I bet that if you guys actually kissed, you would not be thinking about 80 million microbes. Aza, for once in your life, do not overthink this. Hey, is everything okay? What is going on with you? Imagine being stuck in my head all the time with no break, no way out. Get out! A lot of my thoughts don't even feel like they're mine. Like, I'm not the real me. We can just take things really slow. You won't feel that way forever. But it's not forever. It's now. Do you think I'll ever be able to actually be with someone? You're the most fascinating person I've ever known. I love you. Everything's gonna be okay. You know why? Because you never give up. That's one of the things I love about you. No matter how scared you are, you never stop trying. jungles of India and meet the most majestic creatures on earth intimately filmed like never before join Umba up close and personal as she nurtures and raises her new family follow them as they face the mysteries surprises and dangers in one of the most challenging places on Earth. Disney Nature invites you on a journey of survival with the true kings of the jungle. Disney Nature's Tiger, narrated by Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Available April 22nd. How was your journey? Very pleasant, thank you. Good. Gretchen, come say hi. What's up? I'm your neighbor. I haven't heard about you. Why would you have heard about me? <laughs> How would you like to come work for me at the resort? <coughs> this happens sometimes. You look like you don't belong here. Why is there nobody working the reception after 10? I want you to lock the doors and wait for me. I will come pick you up right now. If 
I were you, I wouldn't want to get hurt even more. Why did you bring us here? Your family belongs here. That's a fucking weird way to put it. You told the police that you were chased by a woman. I think I'm crazy. Nature is quite remarkable. Oh, it feels so good. Some species need our help. I'm giving you the chance to be of great use in our quest for preservation. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. Same. The people in this town completely upended their lives because of a card they got from a machine. That thing will tell you your life's potential. The Morphos made everybody think about their dreams. And now it's saying, are you ready for the next stage? How do we get to the next stage? Maybe this is something that you need to see about yourself. When you see it, even if you don't want to see it, you know exactly what it means. Yes, Giorgio. Is Superstar the best morpho potential anyone's ever got? No. All 
all sorts of magical things are taking place. I think it's time for things to change. Cassie is becoming my eyes and ears and right hand. Well, if you're acting as Giorgio's right hand, you're gonna have your work cut out here. Every time I come closer to something that scares me, I pull back. I think we need time apart. What about the next stage for me? If you wanted to find out, I'd go with you. There are endless possibilities. Are you sure you want to do this? Isn't it better to know? Breaking news in the brutal killing of Professor Joseph Weider. What's this about? Blunt object to the head. I'm sorry. I don't understand. None of it. We'll be burying the electrodes in the memory centers and the temporal and parietal lobes. You sick, boy? I'm doing a clinical trial. I forget a lot of stuff. My doctor says I gotta keep my mind active. Joseph Weider's murder. Doesn't make sense. Tell me how it really went down. I ain't no killer. Make it right or I'm dead. He tells me he didn't do it. Richard Finn, he was at the crime scene. Why is that? What about Laura? She's got no address, no social media, nothing. There was always people visiting the house. It's a bit strange. It's like everyone from Weeda's life is now a ghost. What are you trying to say, Roy? If we've put away the wrong guy, this was a chance for us to make that right. Move on and forget about all this. People kill for a whole lot of different reasons. Sorry, ma'am, that you have to sit in the parking lot. So, why are you saying sorry? You should have to sit in the parking lot. What? Hello? 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 Reality is stranger than fiction. And ground reality is stranger than non-fiction. I don't believe in it, Chabar Ji. Babbar. Babbar Ji. Six plus one? Sixty one. Seven. This is outrageous, preposterous, egregious. Yeah. Hi there, are you uh, Bridget Pierce? You're the podcasters? Yes, yes we are. Okay. I'm a journalist. I'm still consulting on a true crime podcast in the RS end of nowhere. I've always thought that Ireland was the most beautiful country in the world. All I see is shit. Feels and feels of shit. 21 years ago, three people disappeared. On the Irish Night of the Dead. Samhain. So cool. My sunglasses. F*** off. We've never even had a serial killer in Ireland. We're naturally good people. There's an island of nuns teaching yoga. It just keeps getting better. We need to find the real Balkan. How things happen here, just like everywhere else. I hear you're interested in the lads that went missing. I know what happened to them. They were attacked. By horses. You should never trust a horse. Are you lads seem awful interested in the past. Our lives aren't fodder for your entertainment. The three of you is poking around and everything will lead to no good. We are being threatened. It means there's a story here. 
is extremely good news. This is my podcast. I make the rules. What did you do? Whatever happened that night is still important to someone. I came to Botkin expecting a simple cold case. What if the cold case isn't cold? Allow me to welcome you to the Dead Boy Detective Agency. We help ghosts resolve their mysteries. Ghosts who cannot let go. Dead Boy Detectives? It's Aces, right? Just a stupid f name. I would like to hire you. I've heard you're the best. We help ghosts whose cases would go unsolved. The cases no one else can. The savior of the broken, the beaten and the down. No. Oh, come on, having a psychic is paying off. She is absolutely not joining the agency. You know, I can totally hear you guys. We're pretty bang on detectives. When we're not hiding from death. He spent a bunch of decades in hell. But the technicality. Sorry, I've got to take you to hell. These two boys are cheating death. You are my best mate. I wouldn't want to be dead with anyone else. This sweet moment got really heavy. We'll carry on, we'll carry on. And though we are sad, God, believe me, your memory will carry on. Our deaths didn't matter. And no one ever saw them. I'm not going back to hell. When I help, it does matter. We have to help. Even if it's scary, and the odds are bad, and we might die horrifically. That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, did you guys know zombies are real? I can't believe my little girl's getting married. He is a wedding itinerary for the week. Looks like we won't get much time together. You're a part of the dance rehearsal. Don't you see the asterisk that says mother of the bride? Now I'm an asterisk. RJ! This is my Aunt Janice. And you must be the mother of the... Lana? Hi, hello. I mean, hello. Can someone <laughs> please explain what's going on? Once upon a time, your father and Emma's mother dated in college. Wait, what? No, I mean, it wasn't serious. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> uh, my daughter has to fall for the son of the guy who ripped my heart out. You have to play cool. Let him see what he's missed. But don't let him know you care. Well, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I'm, I'm leaving. The best thing you can do is relax. Mixed doubles? She doesn't like to lose. Who said anything about losing? Hey, buddy, I'm a doctor. I need you to relax and breathe. Hey, listen, uh, can I buy you a drink tonight? Oh, thank you. But She's wide don't. open. <clears throat> See you then. You're welcome. I get that you were a thing in college, but what's the big deal? We were everything to each other. And then one day, he's just gone. All right, everyone, find your partners. I don't, uh, I don't have a partner. I'll be your partner. What is going on between the two of them? Are you okay? Honey, I'm fine. It's time to take care of me a bit less and take care of yourself a little bit more. I just want you to be happy. 
Nothing says elegance like a black and white wedding. So your mother will be wearing this one. Oh.